What's up everybody? Pal702 back today with another installment of Awesome We Wednesday's review. So today we'll be going over a single coil RDA by a vape reviewer who I actually don't even know. I've never talked to him. I've never chatted with him. I've never watched any of his reviews, but his name is Anthony Vapes. And Anthony Vapes in Cthulhu, 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 came together and they gave us the Mjolnir. Mjolnir, it's basically like, um, I'm guessing if you're a Nordic Viking, that's what you would call Thor's hammer, who is like the god, like he's the man. He's like their Zeus. So it, it has a picture of like Thor's hammer and stuff like that. But anyways, I digress. What we have is a 24, well really it's like a 24.5 millimeter single coil RDA, which utilizes bottom airflow to maximize flavor and a design that was meant to make it not really leak. So with that being said, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around the Mjolnir by Cthulhu and Anthony Vapes. We're pop building it. Got some Tom McDonald for you to listen to. Pop back up, pros, cons, you know, we do it. All right, so today it is the Mjolnir by Anthony Vapes and Cthulhu Mods. Now it comes in this little tin right here. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know, that is Thor's hammer. That's it. You'll see a lot of people like pagans and all other stuff like they wear necklaces with this on it. And that's actually like the symbol for Thor's hammer. And this little dot, dot right here, this will indicate that it is black. It either has this or it doesn't. It comes in black and stainless steel as of the time of this review. And this, as far as I know, there's only two colors on the back. It has a little something something written by, I believe, probably Anthony Vapes that says that this RDA is a 24 millimeter that uses a unique double chamber system that makes it like a 20 millimeter RDA. Innovative airflow designed allows for bottom airflow flavor. So I can't really talk on 20 millimeter atomizers too much because I don't have very many, but 22 millimeters, I get what he's saying. He's saying that he designed this guy right here to vape like a very low profile slam down single coil which i am of the opinion that those produce the best flavor of anything on the planet so to open this up it just unscrews kind of like the el chapo and uh the hellfire and once you open it up or the maverick i should say you will see you have one rda you have a 510 drip tip adapter with a 510 drip tip, both frosted. So this guy right here, this will be your 510 adapter and this is the actual drip tip that it comes with. Two O-rings on this guy. All right, so your baggie of extras now, I know for a fact that this thing came with a studded 510 pin in it because this is outside of the bag. I always forget because I get these things and I vape them for like a month, you know, two months, whatever. And then I always forget if it came. But the fact that this uh, Stud of 510 is not in the pack, that means that this came with the 510 in it and I switched it for the squonk pin. Now you have a bunch of O-rings, you have a little blue screwdriver, you have Allen keys that will fit your 510 and your post. And you also have extra Allen key grub screws. There's also a user's manual, which looks like it has, I don't know where I'm gonna say Russian right there. And then that right there, that is Katakana, which is a form of Japanese. And then I don't know what that language is. So you have a user's manual. Maybe actually the picture, the picture will help you understand what I'm talking about. And you can see how the airflow, like one of them, they both come in from the same height on the outside of the RDA, but one of them 
pitches down and in a little bit higher than the other. So one of them like comes in and goes further down and one of them comes in and goes kind of straight across. So it's two different levels of airflow. So dual airflow, but they come in on a different level and that's supposed to help you with flavor and leaking and stuff of that nature. But that is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. You also get a three months extended warranty, Instagram 15 months total. I don't know what's going on, but you got some uh, code snap thingies and some Instagram warranty stuff. So if you're into those things right there, it's got one of those things. And here it is, The Mjolnir by Anthony Vapes and Cthulhu. So have a quick look around this right here. Now remember, this is a single coil only. You got your little airflow, Cyclops airflow right there. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see. And right there. And then you just pretty much have, there's no logos on this, but this is all like knurling up top and down here. This is all one piece. This is a one piece top cap, so it doesn't pull apart anywhere. So all of this stuff that you see on here is just for aesthetics and you know a little bit of functionality you know just so it wasn't just a plain a plain you know top cap which i wouldn't have minded that either oh. up top now you will have an 810 and this is a resin drip tip now i will point out one thing that it, it is an 810 but it's not really an 810 like you can see how uh thick that this drip tip is you know if you hold up like a goon against it you can see that the bore on the the Mjolnir is much larger. So it's an 810, but it's not really an 810. And that's why probably this thing gets a little bit extra flavor. And I, I, don't, I don't actually use a 510 on it. I do use this drip tip. It's not really, the inner bore on this is much more restrictive than your average 810. And you pop this guy off. It's just all resin. There will be no O-ring on the actual drip tip itself, which means that there will be an O-ring hiding in the top of that top cap right there. And I'm hoping that one of these angles you can see, there's an O-ring in there. But take my word for it, there's an O-ring in there. And across the bottom, let's get you a good shot of Mjolnir RDA. And you will see down on the bottom, it says Anthony Vapes and Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Like it's one of those, it's like smock or smoke. Like I say smoke, you guys might say smock. I say smoke, even though it's spelled, spelled, like spelled smock. So what do you guys think? Is it Cthulhu or is it Cthulhu? That's what I wanna hear in some comments down below. And then maybe one of those comments, I'll just like totally pick one and then I'll just send you one of these right here. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna send you one of these, but you have to spell it out phonetically. You know what like phonetically is? It's like, uh, well, if you don't know what that is, then I guess you're not gonna even win this thing, but you could Google it. All right, so anyways, back to the uh, review at hand. Stainless steel, you have your gold-plated squonk pin, which it does not come installed. It comes installed with a stud 510 pin, and then you have some type of insulator right there it is protruding so if you wanted to run this on a tube by all means do so now uh, the fact that this is like a 20 it really measures 24.5 on the outside it does actually look really good on a tube um, so i would not count that out as as far as an option to vape this it does vape good on a mech tube we're not going to do it today all right so the top cap is like i said earlier it is one piece now on the inside you know, you can't really see too much. I mean, this is, it's black. It's kind of hard to see. There's nothing in there that's sharp or jagged or anything like that. So I don't have any problems with, uh, with the machining on the inside of it. It does work on a notch system, but it's easier to show you on the actual deck where the notches work. But there is a notch system on it. But the, the top and seeing down inside there, there's not really a conical dome, you know, it just kind of ends. There's no big, big dome or anything like that. And uh, for all you guys out there, I believe in the conical now. I'm switching it. 
now I'm saying that Conical is where all the flavor's at. But I'm really just lying. You guys know how I feel about it. It's, I don't know, you see a little bit of rainbow color inside there, and I don't know if that's just like the paint, but I really don't give a shit about paint on the inside of the top cap. All I care about is if there's anything jagged or bad machining, and it's just it's just a very basic cap like that. So pretty heavy too. This this thing's got some weight to it. It is not a small cap. As a matter of fact, like just compared this, this is the the Nuke, which is like a tri. This is like a triple coil, 25 millimeter top cap. Like this shows you how massive this top cap is for a single coil, for anything, for a for a dual or triple coil. Like this is a big, big. Huge, massive, gargantuan, colossal, immense, monstrous, robust is very robust, obese, no, morbidly obese top cap, high profile, no, okay, anyways, yeah, so that's just a, a quick comparison on the size that you're dealing with, where on, let's just put up, hmm, a 22 that is it against the reverie which is a 24 millimeter i'm trying to line up just the top cap with because this has a deck in it but bigger than that so what does the mjolnir rda single coil 24.5 millimeter rda by anthony vapes and cthulhu mods have underneath the hood that is what she has underneath the hood. So you have a very basic, you know, single coil post configuration right here. You could really run positive, you know, I'm not positive up. You can run belly up, belly down. Doesn't really matter. Right here, this big open window, that is where your airflow is going to come up. So this is a true bottom airflow single coil, meaning that the airflow is not slanted in from the outside. It's being drawn in from the outside and then it comes straight up from the bottom of the deck. The way that this thing works now, this is, the top is self-explanatory. Your post right here, grub screws. And I'll just kind of zoom in and just let you guys know it does have that nice little tab in there. So it will catch your wire. So building on this is very easy. You're not gonna wanna put, I mean, you could put whatever the hell you want in it. But for me, like a simple fuse clapped in, no issues whatsoever round wire it doesn't matter you could put you know whatever you want in there uh, so that is very basic very easy very well done you will well, not really notice but if i point it out to you like down there somewhere you'll see a peak insulator which means that this guy right here is your positive and negative but i'm going to pull this apart because you can't really understand this rda unless you take this section out um, so as I'm doing that, you'll see it is, it's got two O-rings on it. And then right there, that is the notch right there. That's your notch system. So there's a little s slit inside the cap and it'll catch this either way when you're adjusting your AFC so it won't spin off of your deck. So nice touch, very simple, basic way to incorporate a locking system on here. So now to get a better look at how this thing actually functions and what the hell's going on way down in there, we're just gonna take this squonk pin out, which I will point out that the squonk pin Allen key is a different size than the Allen key that you will use for your post, but they provide both, both which is cool. All right, so we'll pull this guy out. Eventually, there it goes. There goes your squonk pin. Now, once that is out, let's just see the best way, or if I can just pull this thing out. There we go. So just kind of push, give her a push with that uh, with the Allen key, and then this pops out right here. So, before we get into this. That right there, that is what everything sits inside. So this is essentially like a 22, you know, you know 22 or 20 millimeter single coil RDA that sits inside a 24 and a half millimeter juice well, 
I mean, that's essentially what this is. Like they're putting this inside of here. It's kind of similar. If you guys remember the review that I did on the Paradox RDA, post review, a link right there. They did the kind of same thing. They just put a massive juice well and then they built the post and stuff inside there. So they built like an, an, a single coil, tiny single coil inside of a 24 and then dropped it in there. Only that one you couldn't remove. This one you can remove, but the actual idea behind it, it's very similar. Different airflow, but you know, by using a 24 millimeter as a juice well and then put a dripper inside of that, that is how, you know, that they're trying to get an actual bottom airflow that you can squonk on. So nothing crazy on there. You can see there are some notches on the bottom and that will be for you to line this up, you know, but you can just obviously see the airflow and you pop that in like that. I don't even know what I want to call this thing. I guess this is the, the post. I mean, this is the negative and the positive together. Um, so like the post system on this, now, if you look right here, this is the airflow that comes in higher, you know, closer to the bottom of your coil. You can see kind of my rod going through there. Now, this side over here, look how much further down it goes. It's pitched at a way steeper angle and it comes in further down. So that's kind of the stepped airflow that they're talking about. When you squonk this thing, it's going to basically fill up everything around here and it'll actually go in the airflow and then just back down into that 24 millimeter basin that this sits inside of. So it's really an RDA that's designed to leak inside of a big juice well i mean that's the that's the best i can explain it like they designed this to leak inside of a hollowed out 24.5 millimeter juice well just pop that in there and then just let it leak inside of itself and recycle and whatnot and you know really the only way to tell like your positive is you can just see just really small there's a really thin insulator that goes around and, and that makes this the positive right here. Not necessarily the easiest to tell just by looking at it when it's fully assembled, but once you break it down, you can tell um, where your positive, where your negative is. And then just overall, you know, that's what the bottom of this looks like. You know, there's nothing, uh, the machining on it, I mean, it's not bad. There's nothing really going on, nothing, you know. This right here obviously is where you're, your squonk pin or your 510 pin is going to thread into, and that's what's actually gonna keep this inside. But, you know, just a kind of a different design. I, I think it's cool. Like, I, I it's just a little bit different. I'm sure there's some other drippers out there that have done this before, but kind of cool. So it doesn't matter which way, you know, what air hole goes to what air hole. Like, that part doesn't matter at all. So you just line this thing back up like that. Put her in, find your squonk pin, pop your squonk pin back in like that, and while holding your kind of post system together, voila, just like that. So that's really like the best way I can show you guys and explain to you guys how this works. And if you were to drip this, you know, it's going to hold us a, a very you know, large amount of e-juice in this actual, you know, juice well slash basin slash, I don't even know what you call this, but it, it'll carry, it'll hold a lot of juice. Um, something I will note though, when you're squonking and you have this thing super full, uh, if you've just freshly squonked this thing, like, and you smash the bottle all the way, it's slow to suck back. So if you squonk this thing, take a couple rips, and you put it in your pocket, this will totally empty out, like, the juice. I was wearing some sweats, <laughs> and, like, they're, like, light gray. And I put, the, put this in my pocket on the squonk mod I was using, and I was driving, and I looked down, and it looked like I poured, like, like a gallon of e-juice right on my crotch so yeah just be aware like don't squonk this thing and then try to hold it any type of way because this system while keeping it from leaking it also 
doesn't suck back very fast. And obviously if you're dripping on this, then you have to keep this thing upright after you've you know put juice on this because it'll just hold in here. And that's why it doesn't leak when you squonk. I mean, you can make it leak when you squonk, but it's just leaking inside of itself. But once this thing gets totally full, a 24.5 millimeter RDA that's full of juice, and if you do tilt it, it will leak. So just, just a heads up, you know, nothing wrong and not a big deal at all, just to save yourself, you know, a juicy crotch. At least it smells good though. I mean, if you do do it, like you're gonna have like paramel, like pear apple caramel smelling balls. So that's could be a pro for your boyfriend or your girlfriend. No, no judgment here. And that is it. That is all that I have for you on the Mjolnir single coil RDA by Anthony Vapes and Cthulhu Mods. Hit it. They try to tell me I should dumb it down, say you're too conscious for the fans to feel you. Try to tell me I should calm it down, if you fight the system they gon' try to kill you. They try to tell me that I'm too sad and it isn't healthy, fuck I knew that. I'm just doing me and if you don't agree and I don't owe you shit then that is too bad. I fired shots at all the mumble rappers and they try to say I'm not a humble rapper. So I tell them I'm not like these other rappers and they try to say I'm just another rapper. Fuck it, I guess there's no pleasing y'all. If the record has meaning you don't leave it on, but you stream all the songs that repeat the same shit about pussy and Xanax and liquor and drugs. I could have a seizure like Wayne, I could just go OD like Peep, I could just go crazy like Ye, I could just get locked up like Meek, repeat the same thing, use some stupid slang, yelling Gucci gang on every flame beat, or I could be me, at least I can breathe, at least I can sleep, knowing that I never sold my soul for money or a dream, these rappers all coked out, they just mumble lots, they got broke mouths, they got 10 chains and got no house, they got 20 hoes and got no spouse, smart rappers don't drink lean, that's kid shit, we ain't 16, if you got a problem I welcome it, I'll be doing me for the hell of it. So I packed my shit and went with it Little did they know that they put me in my element I'm fired to the bone now Diamonds in my skeleton I'm finally in my zone Doing me for the hell of it they try to tell me to ignore the haters You gon' get revenge when you're successful later They try to tell me I should not respond And I should write a song and put it all on paper They try to tell me I'm the bigger man If I'm not underhanded when I write them back And I try to tell them it's impossible Thousands of people a day have been saying I'm whack I try to tell them that it's complicated I could write a novel about getting faded But the conscious fans are gonna fucking hate it And the wavy kids are gonna love to play it So I write a song that's got a message in it And the wavy kids are saying it's pathetic But the conscious fans think it's awesome man They comment like man I really get it So what the fuck do y'all want? I could have a seizure like Wayne. I could just go OD like Peep. I could just go crazy like Ye. I could just get locked up like Meek. I could just go sell out like Jay. I could just stay real like Wally. I could just get money like Drake. Or I could just say that I'm done playing games and get famous and know that I always stay mean. So go and that ahead was, and uh, the rap. that was some Don't Tom McDonald. The hell of it. Fucking badass song. More importantly, that was the Mjolnir by Anthony Vapes and Cthulhu Mods. 24 and a half millimeter single coil RDA sitting on top of the flask from Warlocks. Let's take it for a rip. All right, so what we're about to do right now, we're gonna do pros and cons start off with the cons and with the pros because around here we always end on a positive note awesome all right so cons cons on the mjolnir first con for me is just this is going to be subjective i never would have bought this just from the looks like i like my 22s my i like i like my single coils slammed down low tiny small you know, I like that low pro single look. I just like it. So looks wise, it's big. Like this thing is massive. So just from the looks of it, I didn't want to buy it. Nothing to do with performance. So, you know, the looks for me, for a single coil, it's just big. 
the actual only really con con I have for it, like non-subjective con, is how how it utilizes kind of an RDA inside of an RDA. It almost turns it into like an RDTA. You know, when you wick this thing, it's almost like wicking a tank, an RDTA, like your wicks are very, very long. And there's no problem with that, but the problem that I run into sometimes is the way that the squonk pin holds everything together, it's up off the bottom of the actual enclosure. I don't even know what to call it, but the juice well, it sits up higher. It doesn't sit flush. So there's always, there's always e-liquid in there. So if you squonk the shit out of this thing and it doesn't leak, like you can make it leak, like you can make anything leak. But for bottom airflow, this thing, it does a very good job. It's almost impossible in my opinion to, well, I got a leak right there. It's almost impossible in my opinion to make a bottom airflow squonkable RDA that doesn't leak. This does a very good job. But had that squonk pin been lower, more even flush with the bottom of that enclosure, it would have sucked back all of the, the e-liquid after your wicks are all, you know, the capillary action, everything's all saturated, but it doesn't. So it does leave juice in the reservoir we'll call it you know in the reservoir it'll leave juice in there so if you if you tilt it like that or like that after you've just put a bunch of juice in there or squonked it it'll leak it'll leak a lot a lot and the other con just kind of kind of piggybacking off of that is the fact that there's always you know a fair amount of juice inside of this reservoir you you first of all you won't ever get a dry hit so that's kind of a pro but secondly your wicks in your coil is always very saturated so if you are one of those people that that you don't like spit back at all then you probably wouldn't like this because you you get a lot of mist not a bad for me it's a it's a pro actually but it, you definitely get you know juice in the mouth um, so if you are very anti spitty then you know you might want to pay attention to that but uh... all right pros pros on the meal here first pro for me is gonna be flavor like this thing has awesome flavor like for for don't judge a book by its cover don't judge an engine by a paint job just don't do it it vapes good it has good flavor it has quiet airflow Overall, it's it's a really good single coil. There's nothing wrong with this. There's, I, I mean, other than those little things that I stated as far as the actual vape, and if you're okay with a little bit of spit back, this thing vapes so much better than it looks. I can't even explain it to you. Like this thing would have, had I reviewed it earlier, it could have challenged for a, a spot in my top single coil, non-high-end RDAs. I don't have, issues with this thing at all like it gives good flavor i run my airflow wide open uh right now i'm putting 50 watts through it this is quiet really good airflow i mean very good performance across the board um so price what will the millionaire cost you Cost of this guy, five dick pics and one short video clip, courtesy of Wee0609. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 20 to 30 bucks. Like I've looked online and like I've seen them for 30 bucks, I've seen them for 20 bucks, but you're playing in that 20 to $30 range. So the, uh, the price for this thing, it's almost worth just buying it. Once again, if you don't like spitback, then you probably won't like this because it tends to be a little bit spitty. But overall, uh, I thoroughly enjoy vaping this. I've been vaping this for quite a while. This exact setup, it's a good RDA. This is one if you guys like single coils and you don't like to spend $80 or $120 on, on something, you know, you just want good flavor and good airflow and you don't give a shit about anything else. This is a very good single coil so shout out to you mr anthony vapes even though i don't know who the hell you are you did a really good job it sounds like you do more on reddit like i i'm not i think i may have subscribed now or i don't even know if i'm subscribed um but it seems like a nice dude uh you did a hell of a job so shout out to you shout out to my boo wee
as always for sending this over for we wednesdays and uh that's it so on that note i do not know what's going on in your world today but it's hump day and it's wednesday it's a we wednesday always team joey up in this mug right here so around here with my very large single coil flavor banger it is it really it really really is it is definitely all love and i catch you guys on friday